नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग प्रैक्टिस कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस कैटेगोरिकल ट्रांसफॉर्मर्स वील यूज कैटेगोरिकल ट्रांसफॉर्मर्स फॉर कैटेगोरिकल फीचर इनकोडिंग एंड ऑल्सो फॉर लेबल इनकोडिंग द फर्स्ट कैटेगोरिकल ट्रांसफॉर्मर इज वन हॉट एनकोडर One hot encoder encodes categorical features or labels as a one hot numeric array. It creates one binary column for each of k unit values. Out of these k binary columns, only one column has one in it and rest k minus 1 columns have zeros in it. Let's look at a concrete example. Let's say we have a feature matrix which is 4 cross 1 there are four samples and it is a single feature this particular feature has got four values 1 2 3 and 1 the number of unique values here is equal to 3 number of unique values which is represented by k is equal to 3 hence in the transform matrix we will create three columns for this particular single column each column corresponds to a unique value we first instantiate one hot encoder object and call fit_transform method on the original feature matrix again remember this is fit_transform method because one hot encoder is a transformer so we get we get a transform feature matrix which is 4 cross 3 there are four samples and three columns in the transform feature matrix and you can see that the first column corresponds to value 1 first unique value which is value 1 second second column corresponds to value 2 and the third column corresponds to third column corresponds to value 3 you can see that the first sample and the last sample has one in it hence you see one in the first sample and one in the last sample in the first column you can see that two appears for the second column for the second sample hence the the column corresponding to two is one and rest other columns are zero here for the third sample the value is 3 and you will see 1 in the third column which corresponds to the value 3 label encoder encodes target variable or target label with value between 0 and k minus 1 where k is the number of distinct values so imagine we have a label vector y with six samples and it's a vector so hence hence the second dimension is 1 and the values in the label vector are 1 2 6 1 8 and 6 here the unique values are 4 there are four unique values that is 1 2 6 and 8 and hence k is equal to 4 now if you use label encoder on this we create an object of label encoder transformer and we call fit_transform method with this label vector as an argument and we get a transformed label vector with six samples and it's again a vector hence the second dimension is 1 1 here 1 is encoded as 0 2 is encoded as 1 6 is encoded as 2 and 8 is encoded as 3 and you can see that right so wherever there, there was one in the original feature matrix we are getting zero uh, in the transform feature matrix so there is one for sample 1 and sample 4 so now we have in the transform feature matrix the value of the label is zero there was two in the second sample which is mapped to 1 then there is 6 in the third sample which is mapped to 2 and 6 is also there in the last sample which is mapped to 
and it is there in the second last sample and that is mapped to 3. So this is how label encoder works. It encodes a target variable with values between 0 and k minus 1. Let's look at the third encoder which is ordinal encoder. Ordinal encoder encodes categorical features with value between 0 and k minus 1 where k is the number of distinct values. Let's take a concrete example with original feature matrix with six samples and two features. The first feature seemed to be a numeric feature and second feature is a categorical feature. In the first feature, we have values 1, 2, 6, 1, 8 and 6 and the second column or the second feature has the gender which is male, female, female, male, male and female. So we can see that there are there are 1, 2, 3, 4 unique values for the first feature and 2 unique values for the second feature. We instantiate origin, uh, ordinal encoder object and call fit underscore transform with original feature matrix as an argument and we obtain a transform feature matrix where each unique value is mapped to is is kind of transformed to a value between 0 to k minus 1. So here 1 is transformed to 0. We can see that wherever there is 1, we can see the value 0 in the transform feature matrix. 2 is transformed to 1. 6 is transformed to 2. So wherever there is 6 in the original feature matrix here and here, they are transformed to 2 here and 2 over here. And 8 is transformed to 3. Now the second column male is transformed to 1 and female is transformed to 0. You can see that wherever there is a uh, there is a gender female, you will see value 0 in the in the transform feature matrix and wherever there is a male, you will see value 1 in the transform feature matrix. So the difference between ordinal encoder and label encoder is that the ordinal encoder can operate on multidimensional data whereas label encoder can transform only one dimensional data. So, where, so whenever you have multidimensional data and you want to do the you want to do the encoding you can use ordinal encoder. Let's look at the next encoder which is label binarizer. Several regression and binary classification can be extended to multi-class setup in one versus all fashion and we have seen this in the first week of machine learning techniques course. Now this involves training a single regressor or classifier for a class. So what happens is that our, in our data we have multiple classes but we want to train this multi-class setup in one versus all fashion. In that case, we need to convert multi-class labels to binary labels. And sklearn provides this label binarizer class for performing this task. So let's take a concrete example where we have original feature matrix y. This is original feature vector y with six samples. And this label vector has values 1, 2, 6, 1, 8, and 6. We instantiate label binarizer object and call fit underscore transform method with this feature with this label vector as an argument. And we get a transform label matrix. So this label vector is converted to label matrix with exactly the same number of samples but the number of columns is now equal to the number of unique values in this particular column. So you can see that unique values are 1, 2, 6 and 8. So there is a column corresponding to each of the unique values. The first column corresponds to value 1, second column corresponds to value 2, third column corresponds to value 6 and the fourth column corresponds to value 8. Now, if you have an estimator 
that already supports a multi-class data, we, we need not use label bioerizer. Label bioerizer has to be used if you want to extend regression, regression and binary classification algorithms that do not support multi-class setup. But if you have an estimator that readily supports multi-class setup, then label binarizer is not needed. Let's extend a label binarizer to multi-label binarizer. It encodes categorical features again in the same manner like label binarizer between values 0 and k minus 1 where k is number of classes. So let's say in this, let's take a concrete example of movie genre and there are there are total number of genres equal to 4, which is action, comedy, thriller, and science fiction. The first, the first sample has got two genres, which is action and comedy. Second has a single genre, which is comedy. Third one has action and thriller. The fourth one has science fiction, action, and thriller. Now let's call multi-label binarizer on this particular movie genre and convert them into and encode them with values 0 and k minus 1. We instantiate object of multi-label binarizer class and call fit underscore transform method with movie genre as an argument. And this gets converted into a, a numerical representation with 4 cross 4 matrix. So we already had four samples here. So there are four samples in the transformed uh, in the transform matrix, and we have now four columns. Each column corresponds to one genre. For example, the first column corresponds to genre action. So wherever there is action in the first, third, and fourth sample, we see value one. Then the second Second column corresponds to comedy genre and wherever there is a comedy in genre which is in the first and second sample we have values 1 over there. The third one corresponds to science fiction and science fiction is only present in the last sample so you have value 1 correspond to, corresponding to science fiction in, in, the, last, in the last sample and the third column and the final column corresponds to thriller the thriller genre is associated with third and fourth sample so you will see values one values one for third and fourth sample in the in the last column so that was about that was about encoding categorical features as well as labels we have another important transformation that we need to perform and most often we have to add a dummy feature to to our data set because dummy feature is not present and dummy feature corresponds to bias and SQL unfortunately provides us a class called add dummy feature and we can use that add dummy feature to augment the data set with a column vector where each value in that vector is 1. Let's take a concrete example. Let's say this is our original feature vector with four samples and two features. And if we call add dummy feature on this, we basically get an additional column with all ones in it. So this is the dummy feature that is added. So that's it from the categorical encoders. And in this, in this video, we looked at how to encode the categorical features as well as labels in a numerical fashion using various categorical encoders provided by SKLearn.